During the T20 World Cup, the ICC released an immersive VR app for the Apple Vision Pro and gave us a glimpse into the future of watching cricket. And the idea behind it is, using the Apple Vision Pro, fans can put on the headset and that places in the, them in the middle of one of our World Cup stadiums. And then using real-time data, we can recreate the greatest moments from the match so that fans can experience what it's like to face a Jasper Boomer Yorker or to be Risha Pant wrapping the ball for six. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the NASA County International Cricket Stadium. The thing I love is watching people put on their device for the first time, and the first time they face a ball, you can see them actually flinch because the ball zips past their nose at 150 k's an hour because it's the, the same speed as being in a match. And so I think it's starting to do that thing of give people a feel of what it's like to face the world's greatest bowlers. That was amazing. I want to do it again. The fact that I could stand in the middle of Kensington Oval right here in Barbados and see the stadium, be on the pitch, at the crease, with the batsman, see the bowler, the keeper, somebody in middle, somebody on long off. It was amazing. I just want to be there. Chris Gale had a go of it in New York. You're pretty much right in the stadium. You're like yeah. up close and personal with the players. So it's very cool. Lovely. Great technology work. Oh. For fans to enjoy, it's a great thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Without a doubt, yeah. without a doubt, that's cool. You can yeah. sit and watch that, that's, that's super cool. And his feedback was great, you know, so in the app, not only do you see the ball come at you, but if you look around the field, you can see where all the fielders are standing, where are the opportunities to play shots. And so you can imagine that becoming a great training tool for coaches in the future to be able to say to players, you went out on this delivery, let's recreate that and see what are the other options you could have chosen. The field is set all the way around the ground, but even still, with fielders on the leg side, he still manages to show unbelievable innovation and manipulate the ball to an area of the field, which is his strength, but also there's very little the bowler can do about it. The app was built by the ICC and its developer partners from start to finish in a record-breaking six weeks. We've done it with Quidditch, who already does a lot of our player tracking data for broadcast. And then obviously we've got a lot of support from Apple to be able to develop it in a really short period of time. I don't appreciate how fast these guys actually are. Yeah, it was amazing. The interface, the way everything works, how easy it is to move everything around. Honestly, it was, it was absolutely amazing. It's amazing. It's uh, very interactive, feels very lifelike. And um, yeah, it was pretty amazing seeing the ball whiz past my head. We were really determined that if we were going to do this, it needed to be an experience that took advantage of this, what the Vision Pro is really great at, which is this sort of spatial experience they talk about where not only, you know, you're making, taking use of the whole 360 viewing experience, but the sound, the sound is one of the amazing things about this device and that really utilizes that to create a whole new experience for you. While this first version of the app only features highlights from completed games, the ultimate goal is to let fans watch and enjoy live matches this way. I think highlights was just a step one because there's a lot of complexity to it. What we're most excited about is to be able to see how you can actually wear this device, get transported into any part of the stadium. As a viewer, you're sitting at home, you really want to have that stadium experience. How can you wear this device and get right into the center of the action in a way that you have exactly that stadium experience, but you have more because you've got the stadium experience merged with the broadcast experience and you can now watch this game live in a way that you've never been able to do it before. The Apple Vision Pro is only available in the US right now, but with the US co-hosting the World Cup, it was the perfect opportunity. We wanted it to coincide with our event being in the US because one, the Apple Vision Pro is only available in the US at the moment. But secondly, we thought through the whole point of having the tournament in the US is to engage new fans. And we knew one of the challenges with new fans would be they don't know anything about the game. They might be familiar with baseball and their first thought would be, what is this game? How difficult is it? And so we did want to create an experience that enabled fans to understand the complexities and the skill of our players out in the middle. I think the value of making it live and all of that effort will only come when the number of people watching it and consuming it in that form factor increase. Hopefully we will be able to see what we saw happen with OTT and mobile penetration 10 years ago. We'll now see that with the immersive world as well. It's very early in the life cycle of this technology and device adoption is limited. Under half a million Apple Vision Pros have been sold in the US. But remember, the smartphone was originally just for early adopters and is now everywhere. The path for this technology could be similar. 
this is what we wanted this product to do is that it took the fan from just sitting on their couch and looking at their TV on the wall or looking at their phone and put them in an experience where they wanted to look around, that they wanted to be immersed in experience. Hence the name ICC Immersive. We're really optimistic that this is going to move the sport forward and give fans, create new experiences for fans, create experiences for new fans, and, you know, hopefully one day create more commercial opportunities as well.